is this company called Workhorse. That is, they have a contract with the United States government. They have a contract with UPS. Take a look at what they're doing. I got 10 shares on Monday. I try to get Larry to buy some, but here we go. Okay, so let's talk about Workhorse right now, and let's go more in-depth how I feel about it and should you buy the overall company. And the whole reason why that I feel like people should actually be looking into Workhorse right now is because the initial hype phase, which is a lot of these meme-worthy companies, they usually go vertically up, and eventually they do dump. So Workhorse did dump around July 1st, but now it's already recovering, so it's really good. If you check out today, it literally went down like 18% in the morning automatically got bought up and just the buying up of the company in just one single day gives me a lot of hope for the overall stock simply because it just seems like investors love it so much to the point that they won't even let it drop if you look at the amount of people that own this on Robinhood, it's increasing every single day there's more people talk about this workhorse stock than ever before wkhs the market cap is growing it's finally hitting a billion bucks and this is absolutely incredible and they're honestly hitting some milestones there are a lot of good news about the company Therefore, you should definitely check it out. For just the mere price of $18 to $20, you could buy yourself a nice t-shirt or you could buy a share of Workhorse, which one day could be $30, $40, even $50. And who knows? It might even be the next mini logistics electric company. So first things first, let's talk about their vehicles. We're not going to talk about the Horsefly, which is the autonomous drone that's used for delivering packages. That's a little bit far off in the future. Let's talk about the present this year and what's going to happen next year so they currently have two vehicles that absolutely look like giant loaves of bread you got the c650 which is a smaller van and the c1000 which is used to haul bigger items so what is workhorse if you guys have been living under the rock it's pretty much built specifically for the last mile delivery sector now we all know the tesla semi and the nikola motors truck they're super cool i get it but those big trucks usually ship from major shipping facilities from point A to point B, like Miami to New York City, New York City to Lexington. You get the idea. They usually pick them up from like major cargo and shipping docks. And you're not going to be seeing a giant semi truck unloading your tiny little Amazon package in your small neighborhood. That's not going to happen. Semi trucks can't even fit in most neighborhoods. So usually those are left for the work of these smaller logistic vehicles like the one you see here, which you usually see outside in your neighborhood. And these are the vehicles, these are the guys that actually deliver the packages to your front doorstep directly. You're not gonna be seeing a giant Optimus Prime truck delivering your little packages. It doesn't happen like that. So, so far they're purely electric, which is the whole reason why the stock is doing so well. The design of the vehicles are really good. We can see there's like a lot of cubic square feet with either the trucks. And also they're pretty well tied with the mobile app and also there's technology in general, which makes it super appealing, especially we live in this really nice digital age. And a lot of these major companies are looking for a new renovation of their fleet because their fleets are mostly consist of gasoline cars. We all know that gasoline cars, they cost a lot of money. So going electric and a lot of these workhorse vehicles aren't even that pricey so a lot of companies are looking at workhorse because they've already received certification from the u.s government on the safety sector meaning that these vehicles are safe to drive if you produce one of these vehicles you could sell them immediately because they've already passed like the safety regulations and by the way lordstown they own about 10% of Lordstown Motors, which is something I think you guys should definitely check out. If you own 10% of like a company in general, if that company makes a lot of money and makes a lot of hype, the company that owns 10% is going to get some cut of that revenue as well. So Workhorse, not only are they making their own very nice electric last mile logistic vehicles, but they also own 10% of Lordstown Motors, which of course have just created their first electric pickup truck. Now, they have about 1,100 orders pending with UPS and other guys out there. This is really, really big, and it's expecting, according to the CEO, they will be making 300 to 400 trucks this year, and this is 2020. So if they actually start producing, cranking out these electric vehicles for delivery, starts giving it to UPS, U.S. Postal Service, FedEx, those guys out there their stock is going to absolutely explode. And if the reviews of the workhorse vehicles really do live up to their name and how good they really are, they're going to be doing really. Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm about that stock because of the pre-orders, because of the contracts they've got in place with the government, and because they're revving up their manufacturing. That is one I think you should jump on immediately and expect to see a massive return by this time next year. I bought the stock earlier when it was like under $10. And mm. in a week's time, it's going up to about 18. It took the pump. It had a little bit of a dump. Now it's stabilizing right around 18, 19 bucks. Definitely get you some. Larry, what's holding you back from the workhorse? I mean, every it seems like things are really on an upswing right now. So I'm gonna, I'm I'm sort of waiting till things crash. I mean, they're they're closing stuff down again, and I think in the following week, I think we're probably gonna see the market take a little bit of a downturn since people are starting to close up. They're starting to mandate mask wearing and, and some other preventative measures are starting to be put in place. I think that the that people were all hyped up today because it looked like we had positive employment, you know, uh, job, um, the job results or job report looked pretty favorable, but it, it's sort of, it's, it's sort of deceptive. like, it's not, it's, it's not deceptive. very, I don't think it's accurate to what's really going on because it's like they made the report and then, you know, you had this explosion of COVID in a number of different cities and most of our states, and so now they're shutting stuff back down and, and putting more preventative measures in place. And so you're getting people laid off, you know, in, in a number of cities and a number of states, they've closed all the bars, they've closed the restaurants indoors. Some cities are considering complete shutdowns again. I mean, these there, there's jobs that are already being lost again. People are going back into unemployment again as we speak. So I don't think those job, those job, I don't think that job report was that accurate. Or and and as a consequence, I think that. People were moving on, you know, the market was moving up, and I think it's gonna take a, a pretty a pretty steep dip probably in the next week or so when people realize, oh right, the unemployment, the weekly unemployment numbers are going back up again. 